good morning everyone in this lecture we will discuss the vulva development in c elegans there are two type of individual hermaphrodite and male are found in the c elegans this vulva is found in the hermaphrodite individuals this vulva serves as a structure which provides entry for sperm and leave fertilized egg from the gonad how this vulva development occur in c elegans there are two type of cells anchor cell and vpc vpc stand for vulval precursor cell there are six types of vulval precursor cell p3 p p4 p5 p6 p7 and p8 first of all this anchor cell secrete lin3 protein in the form of concentration gradient it means the cells the vpc cells which are adjacent to the anchor cell will receive large amount of lin3 protein as compared to the vulval precursor cell which are found distant region from the anchor cell that's why the p5p p6p p7p are found in close vicinity to the anchor cell and receive large concentration of flin3 protein but the p3p p4p and p8p vulval precursor cell are found at a distant region from this anchor cell that's why they will not receive any flin3 protein now all of the vpc cell have let 23 receptor which is also known as surface receptor tyrosine kinase because of this concentration gradient the lin3 protein is found is found to be interact only with p5p p6p and p7p vulval precursor cell and when it will interact with let 23 protein then there is map kinase signaling occur in p5 p6 and p7 vulval precursor cell now the p6 p cell will generate primary central fate but it also produces signaling molecule which will interact with the lin12 receptor present on the p5 p and p7 p there will be no signaling occur in p5p and p7p we will discuss no signaling in cell signaling response topic now this lin12 protein is activated and lin12 protein will induce phosphate protein and inhibit this map kinase pathway that's why there is found secondary lateral fate by p5p and p7p cell now the p3 and p3 for p p4 p and p8p will not receive any lin3 protein that's why there is found tertiary cell fate and it will leads to hypodermis formation the primary central cell will form eight vulval cell from p6p and p5p will form seven cell by its secondary lateral fate similarly p7p will generate secondary lateral fate and produces seven vulval cell in this way there are 22 vulval cell now the p3 4p8 has non vulval fate because they will not encode p3 p4 and p8 will not encode any vulval cell but they produces hypodermis that's why there is non vulval fate when there is absence of anchor cell it means when anchor cell is not produced then there is not found any lin3 protein and when lin3 protein is not found then there will be no signaling occur in p6p p5p and p7p and generate hypodermal cell by all three precursor vulval precursor cells the six vpc form an equivalence group and every vpc can assume any of its fate it means 
that all of the VPC have same kind of fate when the P3P position is changed with P6P vulval precursor cell then P3P cell will produce primary central fate and leads to formation of 8 vulval cell but when P6P is found at the P3P position then this P6P will produce tertiary cell fate and leads to hypodermis. In the next lecture we will discuss some questions related to vulva development in C. elegans which were asked in previous CSIR net exam question paper. I hope you have find my video useful. Please like, subscribe and share with your